Many parents are helping students navigate Google Classroom, and WCPS will provide videos that will be available explaining Google Classroom. In order to have a consistent message within WCPS, it is required that you do all steps to ensure that parents are given the correct information. This infographic shows each step. First, you will turn off your stream. The stream is where every student, parent, and teacher sees what they log into Google Classroom. It can create confusion because it cannot be arranged by the teacher. In order to turn off your stream, go to the setting cog in the upper right corner. Click on the setting cog icon and afterwards scroll down to stream. You can find it under general. Where it says classwork on the stream, choose hide notifications. Afterwards, be sure to click save. This will turn the stream off, which will help students and parents go to the classwork page because there will be minimal information on the stream page. After turning off the stream, the next step is to create a home base. This will ensure that you have materials such as a syllabus, calendar, book links, etc. in one place. In order to make a home base, go to the classwork page and click create. Then choose topic. Name your topic home base and click add. This topic will need to stay at the top of your classwork page the entire school year. Anytime you make another topic, drag it underneath home base. You may customize your home base with any resources that will assist students. After you're creating your home base, be sure to go back to the Create button and create a topic and name it for your first week of school. You may come up with your own way of naming it, such as Week 1 or August 31st week. Just be sure to stay consistent throughout the year when you name each topic. Be sure to drag that topic under your home base so that home base is the one on top always. You may keep the weeks in order or add the most recent week under home base. Be sure that your students and parents know your organizational pattern for the year. Also, it is recommended that anytime you create an assignment, be sure that it is under a topic and organized. After creating your first week topic, you will need to turn on Google Meet. For the majority of the time, you will use Google Meet within Google Classroom integration. This allows you to have students join a Google Meet from the classroom without remembering where the link is located. Also, students will be placed in a waiting room until the teacher clicks on the link in Google Classroom and joins. In order to turn on the link, go to the settings cog in the upper right hand corner. Scroll down to general and find Meet. You will generate a Meet link by clicking Generate Meet Link, which will toggle on the Visible to Students button. Afterwards, make sure that you click Save in the upper right-hand corner. This will ensure that students will see a small video camera for iPad and Chromebook, students in classwork. Chromebook students will also see a link to press on the top of the stream as well. iPad students will see the video camera on the top of the stream. While you are in settings, the last thing to turn on Guardian Summaries. This is under General. The reason that you want to have this on is that you are being asked to invite students and their parents through Google Classroom. After clicking Save in the top right hand corner, go out of Settings and go to the People tab. For each student, you will need to click Invite Guardian. Type in or copy the email that is listed in Synergy and send the email. This will send an email to the parent about your Google Classroom. Parents will be able to choose if they would like to receive notifications from Google Classroom and the frequency of those notifications. You may want to send two emails for the student if, for example, it is listed that the parents are divorced and have joint custody. After making these five settings, you are welcome to customize your Google Classroom with emojis, specialized banners, etc., as long as you adhere to the areas listed in this video.
In the next video, you will learn how to grade student work within Google Classroom.